Hello everybody, what's up and welcome back to my channel. I'm back home right now. It was so difficult to try and film while I was in LA because there's always just so much stuff that comes on and then by the time it came to nighttime, I couldn't film at all because there was no lighting and I didn't bring my lighting with me because I thought that I would have time in the mornings, but I didn't. So I will make a mental note for next time when I go back that I will bring my lights with me so that I can keep y'all updated on everything because I truly feel horrible for giving y'all three uploads within two weeks. Like, no, that, that ain't me, that ain't us. But before we get into this video that we're going to be talking about once a month or maybe once a week I'm going to do this thing where I find viral news and we talk about it for a little bit So I as we all know the coronavirus is out there and it originated from Wuhan And all I have to say about it is that you know, I'm very very scared I have a little bit of a cold at the moment. I don't have the coronavirus But it is scary knowing that you might get it but that's not what we're talking about we are talking about something that just is sad and that shouldn't be going on so I seen a video on my for you page of the coronavirus and and there was this Asian kid who had commented in the comments section I have the common cold at the moment but I'm too scared to cough in front of my friends because they will judge me and I'm like that right there is just racist because it's like, yes, it did originate from Wuhan, but if people haven't been over there and it's just a common cold and you just so happen to be Asian, like why? Cough in front of your friends, dude. Like them. People just shouldn't feel like that. They should be comfortable and be able to cough. That's all I'm saying. I'm just saying be considerate, be nice to people. Don't be person. Anyways, let's get into this video. So there is this new trend going around on TikTok where you do this. Just take a look. <laughs> Number one, what the hell was that? Number two, that is extremely dangerous to do to somebody because of the injuries. But what we're talking about in today's video is this specific video that I just showed you at the start. Now, this is information from TikTok room, so I'm just going to be reading it from this post. It says, two girls tripped a special needs girl and ended up breaking her nose and jaw. And they posted it to TikTok. The video went viral. They only got two days of ISS because of their parents' thoughts. This is really disgusting considering the fact they still uploaded the video to TikTok even though the girl had broken her nose and jaw and she is special needs. I just want to know why this happens. Like, that's disgusting. I'm not sure. Like, I... Would they like that to happen to them? No, so why would they do that to other people? I don't know how this became a trend, but the school made some statements about this. Take a look. Now, one thing to understand, with the recent event that just happened on our campus, it has been dealt with by administration appropriately. The students have received the appropriate consequence for their actions. And understand this, if you conduct similar type actions, even if it's amongst friends, you will receive the appropriate consequences as well. Okay, so in that first video, they apparently received the appropriate consequences and they were dealt with by administration. I would like to know what was done about this because that is assault and that should be like at least fined or a little bit of juvenile time as what some people are saying in the comments. Now I do have a lot of opinions on this as I've just stated before. I do think they should get harsh consequences because of what they done. I don't know what they were thinking was going to happen by tripping the girl over like that. But you know we've got really silly people on the internet who want clout. Sadly clout is a, a very very high drug. I'm glad that the school handed consequences consequences to the girls, but it still doesn't justify it because again, what happened to the girls? Like, what were the consequences? That's what my questions are. This trend is disgusting. I hope I don't see it on my For You page again. And 
really like, is it, was it worth it? Was it worth the 10 seconds of fame? Was it really worth it? Because in my opinion, I don't think it is. Nothing, hurting people isn't worth anything. Anyways, guys, that is the end of today's video. What are your thoughts and opinions on this topic? What are your thoughts and opinions about the coronavirus thing that we talked about at the start of the video? I would love to know all of your opinions. Please comment them down below because I will be reading every single one of them like I do on all my videos, even if you don't agree with me, even if you disagree with me heavily. I still love to have your opinions because your opinion matters and it does count. Thank you so much for coming to this video and watching it. I love you all so much and I will see you guys in my next video, which will be tomorrow because we back on those regular uploads.